You can create callout views to isolate a specific portion of model geometry to show a greater level of detail. A callout view can be the same type of view as the parent view, the view in which it is created, or it can be created as a detail view. If you need a callout view that is not rectangular, you can sketch the callout boundary. To sketch a callout view, on the View ribbon, in the Create panel, expand the callout button and click Sketch. Once you do, Revit goes into sketch mode. You can use any of the tools in the Draw panel to sketch the callout crop boundary. Also, in the Options bar, you can choose to place a callout that references another view. If the checkbox is selected, you can then select a view from the list. If New Drafting View is selected, a drafting view will be created after the callout is placed. In the Type Selector, I can choose the type of view. Since I'm currently working in a floor plan view, the callout view can either be a floor plan view or a detail view. This will determine where the view is placed in the project browser. I'll leave this set to floor plan. I'll also make sure that chain is selected in the options bar. Then, using the line tool, I'll move into the drawing area and sketch a callout crop boundary that surrounds the living room. Be aware that you can use any of the tools in the Modify panel of the Contextual ribbon to create a closed sketch. Once I have the boundary sketched, I'll click Finish Edit Mode. When I do, I can see the callout. A callout head has been placed to the right of the callout. The callout is also selected, and you can see dot control grips. I can click and drag the grip closest to the callout head to reposition the callout head. I can use the grip on the leader line to add or remove an elbow. And I can drag the other grips to adjust the callout clip plane. When I expand the floor plans branch in the project browser, I can see that a new view named Callout of Level 1 has been created. It was placed in this branch because I told Revit that I was creating a floor plan callout view. I'll open that new view by double clicking on its name in the project browser. In the view, you can see the crop boundary. When you select the crop boundary, you can see grips and view break controls. These work the same as they do for any other type of view. But when I zoom out, you can see an additional boundary with a dashed line. This is the annotation crop. Although the annotation crop is available for other views as well, it's typically not visible. But by default, the annotation crop is visible when you create a callout view. Even though the callout boundary is non-rectangular, the annotation crop remains rectangular. 